This is my everyday complex post-traumatic stress disorder look. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today, my sunburnt face would like to walk you through my everyday makeup routine because I've had people comment on my videos being like, I love your makeup. And that is very nice. I love it very much. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through my CPTSD daily makeup routine. So first, we are going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. And what this does is just kind of fill in your gaps. You know, like what you have to do every morning when you wake up and you can't remember what happened the day before because you were dissociated as heck. Really pat it into your skin. Beat yourself up for not remembering every detail of the day before. Next, we are going to apply some Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 150. Dot it onto your skin because you've never really had a solid foundation no matter how much you wished for one. It's always been kind of all over the place. Really pound it in there, don't be afraid to be rough because you've always been taught that the last thing you're supposed to do is be gentle with yourself. Just really build up that foundation that you've never known. But you wanna blend it. Blend it real good until it's perfect because if you're not perfect, we're gonna have problems. Next, we are going to apply the Too Faced Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and we're just gonna put a couple dots of it underneath your eyes to conceal the fact that you never get a good night's sleep because you're up all night having flashbacks and night terrors. Put it on your eyelid to prime it for your eyeshadow, I suppose. Really blend it out because you don't want anybody to see that you are not perfect and you don't have your life together. All right, now we're going to take this powder that leaks and you're going to pack it onto the concealer you just put under your eyes so that it doesn't crease. Bake it, I guess, as the kids say. That's not a snarky comment about PTSD, that's just something that I like to do. And then we're gonna take the same powder and just lightly dust it all over our face because you don't want to be shiny. Why would you shine when it's much safer to not? <laughs> just make sure you are matte and nobody will ever notice you. Next up, we're gonna do our brows. So I am using Anastasia Anastasia Potato Potato Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And you wanna shape them just right. You don't wanna look too surprised or too severe, non-threatening. Don't want to be perceived as overreacting about anything. You just wanna kind of have the level of emotion that everybody around you wants you to have. Because what you went through it really wasn't that bad. All right, now we are going to use my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment, the Anastasia Anastasia Potato Potato Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And it is just, oh, I love it. We're gonna take a blending brush and we're gonna go into the crease with Warm Taupe and we wanna blend it. Don't want any kind of harsh lines because let's face it, you've had enough harsh for a lifetime. I believe this shade is called Primavera. It is kind of a gold shimmery shade and I really love it. We're just gonna pat that on. Usually I would use a different brush, but I don't have one immediately within arm's reach. Pat on that shimmery gold. Just a little bit of glimmer, you know? Like the glimmer of hope that comes between depressive episodes. There we go. And Next, we want to put something a little darker on the outer corner, so we're going to go in with Antique Bronze. Put it in the outer corner, because if there's one thing you know, it is the dark corners of your mind, because you spend most of your time there. Okay, before we go for our lower lash line, we need to get rid of this bake. The great part about this powder that we put under our eyes is that it caught any of the fallout from when you were applying your eyeshadow. And let's face it, as with any turbulent childhood, there's fallout. <laughs> so let's just sweep it away. Never happened. Let's repress those memories. And we're just gonna take some of the crease color and the outer corner color and kind of line the bottom 
lash line. And once again, we don't want the line to be too harsh. All right, perfect. Now we're ready for our Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper, because that's what you've always been forced to be. And we're just going to draw a little wing, nothing too serious. You aren't really great at drawing lines with people. You've never really known any personal boundaries, so it's hard for you to say no. Fabulous. And now we're gonna take this adorable travel-sized Benefit Their Real mascara, just kind of warm it up in our hands, and we're going to apply it to our lashes. We wanna look fierce as heck when we lash out at the people that we love because we've been triggered and don't know it. All right, so next we want to go in with some bronzer um, I'm using Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. It is one of my favorites. And we just wanna kind of go underneath our cheekbones. We wanna look as skull-like as possible because gosh darn, some days I feel so much like I need to die. Now I might look thin enough for my mother when I was in high school. Next, we're gonna do our blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party! Because what would your life be without all the shame you carry with you every day? Next, we're gonna use our Too Faced Prismatic Love Light Highlighter um, in the shade Blinded by the Light. And we just really wanna pack this on just everywhere. There's no such thing as too much highlight because hey, all you really need to do is look on the bright side. For every time somebody tells you to just look on the bright side and be more positive, Pile highlight onto your face. Ooh, is it blinding? Maybe a little bit up here. Perfect. Not excessive at all. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna go in with our Tarte Lippy Lingerie in the shade Whisper, because you don't want to be too loud. You wanna talk to people, but not so much that they get uncomfortable. And remember, this is a nice, light, neutral shade, because you wanna keep conversations about your trauma, just that. Light, neutral, don't get too dark, that makes people uncomfortable. All right, and there you have it. This is my final look. This is my everyday complex post-traumatic stress disorder look. All jokes aside, at the end of the day, you're gonna wash this all off, or at least for the love of all things good in the world, please wash it off. And what really matters is what you're left with, not what you paint on for the rest of the world to see. Don't have to keep quiet. You don't have to suffer in silence. Do not worry about how you come across to other people because at the end of the day, what matters is your health and your safety. I hope this has been at least a little bit entertaining and maybe helpful for somebody. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to be kind to yourself and others today, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. I used to be overwhelmed by every little thing, torn apart, unraveled at the seams. I think it rooted in the way I.